Ramadan Mubarak, you guys. I hope you're all doing well. I cannot believe that I'm even filming this and saying Ramadan Mubarak because I swear Ramadan comes around so fast every year and I just really need to get my life together because I haven't even started like prepping anything for this month. Today is Friday and mom and I just had lunch. He went to Jama and I came home so that I could clean a little bit while there's nobody in the house. Simba is outside. I finally got all my Ramadan decor in. I was waiting for like one more thing. It's in the mailbox. I need to go get it. Um, and I just want to clean the house before I decorate. So this is going to be over the next few days of prepping for Ramadan. I'm so excited for Ramadan this year, but I'm also like, it's a little bit bittersweet because this is the first Ramadan away from my family. I'm going to go visit them. I need to actually plan out when I'm going to go, like take some time to go spend Ramadan with my family. And I haven't seen them in a while. So yeah, it's just definitely bittersweet, but I'm just so excited to like create Ramadan memories with Muhammad and in this house and there's so many recipes I want to try and finally getting to like decorate our own space, alhamdulillah, like for everything up until this point. Please, if you guys are not subscribed, subscribe to the channel because I know a lot of people watch but then they actually forget to like subscribe to people's YouTube channels. So please subscribe because it helps me out a lot and I'm going to be posting a lot of vlogs. I'll do a weekly vlog every week during Ramadan like I usually do so I'll kind of like recap the week and yeah we're gonna get into cleaning. Welcome to the laundry room. Okay we have so many towels. One thing about Muhammad is he reuses his towel like a few times and I think that's a normal thing. I just never did that like growing up i always like i just like a fresh towel but i i really try to use it like twice um so comment down below if you reuse towels or if you use a new one every time but yeah i try to use it twice because it is a lot of laundry to be doing and then i just get a new one oxy clean I gotta turn the air up. It's about to get hot. The next day and I just finished putting up all of the Ramadan decor so I wanted to show it to you I wanted to get it done before we leave for Houston today because one of our friends is having her nikah 
and we're headed there so i just wanted to like get it done this morning i'm kind of trying to be quiet because muhammad is still asleep but let me show you my dress if you guys haven't seen this this is one of lena's i'm literally sweating <laughs> but this is one of lena's dresses she designed with ivy city and it is so beautiful here's what it looks like this is a sage green color it is absolutely beautiful for ramadan and it has pockets i believe yes it's gorgeous i also got the white one they're so beautiful i feel like this is so lena style like and it's gonna be so pretty for ramadan and eid so i'm definitely gonna be wearing these like two iftar dinners but let's get to the ramadan decor so you can see the banner i put up there i kept my decor really minimal this year just because i wanted it to go with the theme of my house um, to just look super like timeless. So I did two lanterns on the dining table and these can be lit for when we have people over to eat. And then I did, you guys saw this sign, which was kind of hard to put up by myself because I was just like, didn't have somebody tell me if it was straight or not. So I had to like make sure it was a few times, but it looks good. And then in the cabinet, I did some minimal decor as well. I took out a few of the, um, vases and stuff. Let me open it. So I took out a few of the vases and I added these mosques here and then there's some down here. That one says Ramadan Kareem. I just think they're super minimal and beautiful. It's from an Etsy shop. I will link them down below. And then on the coffee table, <clears throat> I kept this super minimal as well because I still want it to be like functional for everyday use. So I just stacked some books put our little box with remotes and stuff. Everybody always asks where that's from. It's from Magnolia. And then these little lanterns, and they have some candles in them, so we can light those if we want to. In the kitchen, I put up this little prayer time sheet that I got off Etsy. I know they have these at like your masjid that you can just pick up or you can print them offline, but I wanted one that was like just really cute. And I love like supporting small businesses <clears throat> during Ramadan. So I got that. I'll link it down below. And then over here on the coffee bar, I just put an Alhamdulillah sign. And then this sign that I got from the same Etsy shop as the <clears throat> lanterns in the uh, cabinet. And it says, and he is with you wherever you go. Oh, ow, I did not see what my hair looked like. Hello you guys, today is Tuesday, so this past weekend, I don't know if I told you guys, but we ended up going to Houston for our friends, um, Ketabik Tab, so I wanted to, like, make sure I cleaned and decorated before, um, we left so that I could, like, get that content up for you guys on Instagram and TikTok, so the decorating video's up, y'all have seen the decor. Now I am at a Middle Eastern grocery store and I made a list of like some things that I need. I want to just pick up before Ramadan starts because I know I'm not really gonna wanna go shopping for everything during the month. So I'm trying to get as much as I can now. So I'm getting some frozen malachia. I wanna make this date cake that we usually make all the time, like not all, all the time, but like during Ramadan. So I'm gonna get some dates for baking some semolina flour just some random things that i need i don't need that much but yeah we're gonna just go in together there are i think maybe like one or two like international food grocery stores in san antonio this one is a little bit newer i've only been here like once or twice so it's actually been a while since i've come here for some pastries. Showed all the feta cheese. I picked up some mochia and some pickles. I'll give y'all a quick little haul. I got some of my favorite pickles, some orange blossom water for the date cake. And I want to attempt to make some like acai. If I really want to like try to do a bunch of recipes this Ramadan, my favorite feta cheese because I want to make some cheese for tire. Cinnamon sticks, phyllo dough, some date paste, 
and Molokia. And that is the little haul. I'm about to pee my pants, so I will be right back. It is Thursday, and today is the day that Muhammad had his surgery for his nose to like open up his airway. They like do the balloon up there, and he also had a lot of mucus drained, and so I was with him for that. He got home, and now he's in the bathroom. We ate, and he's just like kind of cleaning up. He has to do a lot of like rinsing. He hasn't taken any pain medicine yet, but I'm trying to get him to like take it so that he can just not let the pain catch up to him. I did this dough and I'm so proud because it rose and I'm going to make some cheese fatire. I was gonna prep some and just put it in the freezer but now I feel like Muhammad will really like these and we'll just see if we have any left. Without being on camera, can you tell everyone how you're feeling? Uh, I feel good. I mean, I've definitely had worse surgeries than this. Um, but the splints have definitely bothered me. Like I could just feel the bite really? there, up there, yeah. Sorry, babe. And it's just like nonstop bleeding from my nose, so I just have to always have a bottle on it. But overall, not bad. Plus, I got the best caretaker. I'm gonna try. I'm just gonna make them into little balls and probably let them rise maybe one more time. I made the, the cheese mixture and I found, I remember that my family we would do um the heck was that we would do if you guys follow fufu in the kitchen she has a really good cheese fatire filling recipe so i did that it's basically queso fresco um mozzarella cream cheese feta cheese and um a little bit of zatar but like i didn't have that much i don't look you look like your eyes are like super glossy like Look a bit cray cray. A little cuckoo. Yeah. Oh, this did not make that many. Mm. But it's okay. Next time I'll just. Those are kind of big though. Really? Yeah. The ones my mom makes are like half those sizes. Okay, you're right. Also, if I have extra filling, I can freeze that so we can use it during our mom. Mm. By the way, I think my mom's doing a. Uh, and having this over the first day of the morning. Yeah, she told me. I'm so glad. <laughs> I swear, anytime Simbo sees anything going on in the kitchen, he wants inside. Yeah. Like, even in the morning, if I'm just sitting here and he sees me, he wants in. He wants to make sure he's not missing out on anything. Yeah. Okay, let's try this out. <laughs> Thank you. Now, anyone watching, like, just don't judge because this is my literally my first time making these ever in my life. <laughs> is your mom coming over? I don't know. She said she wanted to. I'll call her and see if she comes over and sees these. She's like, the <laughs> hell is that? Honestly, they turned out really, really good. We've been They're eating. You, you approve? Yes, I love them. They're so good. They look so good. Also made some soup, and we have been, or we're about to start eating. I just didn't make enough to like save for. I, I saved a lot of the filling, but we're going to be eating all of the dough. But I'm gonna close out the vlog, and the next vlog you guys will see will be. Ramadan so the first probably the first day of Ramadan, but we'll see you guys then hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and bye bye